Hi everyone, Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and tonight is going to be a live that I'm very excited about for two different reasons. Uh, the first reason, which is not a, you know, a surprise, but I guess it kind of is. Steven is back, so as you come in, be sure to say hi to Steven and thank him for recording. Uh, he's actually spending the weekend over, uh, which means I haven't put him to work yet. So this morning we actually went to the Floral Exchange in Boston uh, to pick out some flowers for him and Gabriella, his fiance's wedding. Uh, so I'm really excited about that because we're gonna do a whole series on weddings this summer. Uh, but yeah, say hi to Steven. Yes, hello everyone. Hi, how are you all doing? It's been a long time. Miss miss you guys. So hope you're all doing well. Yeah, so Steven is a little bit nervous. He's a little rusty, as he <laughs> you know just said. Um, so the second very exciting thing is, which we've talked about for the last few days, uh, we do have an official app now, both in the Apple Store as well as the Google Play Store. So for Androids and Apple uh, smartphones, you can go to your, lo uh, not local, but your App Store and download our app. So it's just Nick Seasonal to Core. If you haven't downloaded it yet, because well, this is the first announcement we've made for it, so disregard that. Um, you know, definitely check it out. Let me know your thoughts. I would appreciate all feedback. But tonight we're going to be designing a sunflower wreath. So here we only have a couple of these signs left, and I really wanted to work with one before they sold out. Uh, it says sun, uh, Sunshine Farms. It's got the sunflowers. It's got the truck, but not that typical truck because I'm kind of sick of those pickup trucks as well. Um, so something a little bit different. So I'm glad we were able to save one for myself. We're going to be dealing with this on top of an 18 inch, very wonky, uh, old Michael's wreath. So this is actually one of those piles that I have down on the ground that I said yesterday, um, you know, since we're still giving away mystery boxes, I asked if you guys wanted those grapevines, you know, they're just painted. It looks like an orange one, a plum colored one, a red one, and a dark purple one. So if you guys want those in mystery boxes, let me know. And to win a mystery box, all you have to do is text me. Uh, the number's up top, 978-396-9150. Okay, are you seeing any comments rolling through uh, yet? Yes, yep, seeing that everyone's saying hello and people have said they missed me, so I appreciate that. That's right, it makes me feel good, so I missed you guys as well. Who's excited for him to be back? You know, I told, you know, I wasn't planning on you coming down here. Uh, I kind of just asked him 15 minutes ago, and he said, yeah, that's fine, I don't care. I I'll told him to make down. sure before the Patriots game, so that's, <laughs> that was my one requirement. But, but it wasn't anything like, oh, I don't want to do it. He was, he was down for it. So the item number for this is AP7161. I'm actually going to add this last for one reason, and that reason is, is Alex was at the warehouse today packing your orders. I didn't make it to the warehouse. Um, so Alex, I told her to bring this sign and this ribbon, which we showed in a walkthrough, and I thought that looked really nice, right? Um, I like it. Yeah, it looks very nice. But I didn't ask her to bring my stapler. So I actually just hot glued these in place. That is not something I would send out this way. So tomorrow, when I take this to the warehouse and before it sells, I will make sure to staple it. I'll probably honestly just peel these off and then redo them. Uh, but for the sake of the video, I just added some hot glue. And we'll add these last because I want to make sure that they fully hardened before we work it in. So let's start off with a little bit of greenery. I kind of have just whatever I have left over. Um, which we still have a good amount down here, but I thought these ones would look best. This one came from uh, Hobby Lobby, but we do carry this in a couple different colors. I'm just using what I got here. Okay. So we'll just snip some of these down. We got a few Patriot fans in the house, which is excellent here. Everyone, Welcome, go Patriots, everyone. Baby. Let's go. Big game. And just in advance, thank you guys so much for the hearts and the shares. I appreciate it. Uh, and I just know for a fact, because I know my brother, I know after this video and after the game, he's going to be watching this from start to finish and <laughs> criticizing his mistakes. So you guys can tell Steven he did a great job before he becomes overly, um, what's the word, analytical? Is that the right word well, for I it? Well, I definitely will watch the video because I like rewatching Nikki. I like seeing him. <laughs> oh, sure. Again. He's such a handsome he's gonna man. He's going to watch for himself, you guys. <laughs> I know him. Mark my words. So let's work in some of this greenery. This is just kind of like a grassy texture. We have these in pink. We also have them in a lime green, uh, but this is kind of like a darker chartreuse green. So we'll just dip these in. Andrea said so I downloaded your app on my Apple. Awesome. Awesome, Andrea. Thank you for downloading. And hands up if you're excited about that. I know Alex is so excited. I'm so excited. Um, and hopefully you guys are too, because I think it's gonna be a lot easier to shop than actually having to go to our website. And we're in the works of doing that for the wreath community as well. One task at a time. But in the wreath community, so if you're a member of that, in case you missed it, 
uh, which you probably did because it was posted like 20 minutes ago, I did upload a new video in the group and it's talking about everything that I've learned before getting into this business. I'm giving a little bit of business advice to the Wreath community, even though it's not a business group. And I talk about pretty much everything. It was a very lengthy video. Alex said I do some cropping on that. So there's one spray's worth. Before we get too crazy with that, let's actually start with our bow. So here's a ribbon we have. I don't know how many left we have, but the item number is RG. One, two, one, two, C1. And it's a two and a half inch, I think this is called Royal Ribbon, but it's a beautiful denim blue. Definitely a nice Royal Blue, it right? looks like. Royal Denim, same thing. And then we have these sunflowers to pair with it. So it's gonna be a spring and summer and fall wreath if you wanted to. Uh, I think sunflowers work just fine for spring and summer. Uh, they work amazing for fall, but we're gonna get away with using them for all three seasons tonight. So for this, let's do a funky bow because this is gonna be like the bulkiest part of our design. So we'll, since we have large sunflowers, I want this bow to be rather large. So loops are about four and a half, five inches with tails extending six to eight. So our typical bow, but it's just two and a half inch, which I don't work with a whole lot, Steve. I'm a one and a half inch ribbon guy. Oh yeah, so a couple of people said the uh, video's freezing. I'm not sure, just two people though. Uh-oh. Can you guys see us? Show some hearts if you can see us okay. Yeah, just make sure that we're... Uh, make sure we're actually here, live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's happened to me a few times. I've actually gone live, and when I look at the screen, Steve, they can't hear me. That's crazy. Nobody can hear me. Uh, but that was because I dropped my mic the other day, so we got <laughs> that figured out. So that's two loops. Let's come back in with a few more. How's it looking? Can that's they great. hear us? No, not the bow, silly. Uh, <laughs> uh, the comments are coming in, so no one's... No one's saying anything about freezing yet, so I think we're, we're in the clear. All right, good. It's nice to have Steven back down here. Steven <laughs> hasn't recorded me at the new studio yet, so it looks like maybe next weekend we'll pop in live there, maybe early in the day, and Steven can check out the new studio. I don't know if he's ever been up. Well, he's been up there, but not with all of the, the stuff that I put up there already. Yeah, recently. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it feels good to be back home, though, and doing this. So it definitely feels good. Yeah, so the whole family's home tonight, which this is the first time in... Months, right? Oh, uh, since Christmas, probably. Yeah, uh, right? Somewhere yeah, since Christmas. Oh, never yeah. mind. Christmas. But Christmas doesn't count. <laughs> All right. So that's one, two, three, four loops. Let's come back in with one more. Just to finish it off, what we could actually do is actually just come in with one loop like that. Nice and simple. Then we can just snip off one extra tail. Yeah, a lot of comments coming in about liking the blue ribbon. I agree. Yeah, it's, I love blue with the yellow from the sunflowers. It's got to be one of my all-time favorite combos. It just pairs so nicely together. So I'll just cut some longer tails. I don't even know if I want to add longer tails. We could always remove those later on. But now I'm just taking a pipe cleaner and securing it. If you are just tuning in, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Uh, but if you haven't texted me yet, we are giving away more mystery boxes. Uh, we started using some of the Easter stuff behind Steven that I showed off the other night. Um, we put some of those in mystery boxes. I think Dad packed up five or six that are going out um, this week. So the way we choose winners is if we have your, your address on file, we'll just surprise you by mailing you it. And if we don't, it's not going to be a surprise. We're going to have to reach out and ask you for your address. We're not mind readers here. I don't know everybody's address, uh, but that's how we're going to do that. So if you'd like that, let me know. And yeah, we'll send those your way. Let's dovetail the longer ones. We might just have those cascade below. I think we dovetailed everything. Nope, looks like two tails left. It's looking good. Everyone's liking the blue, which is great. I know. And then Bob said that your new studio looks just like the basement. I imagine with all Does the... Does it? What I think what he means with all the supplies and uh -oh. stuff. Oh, so, like sort it of. Looks, like uh, it's just a lot of... A little less crazy, but um, I ran out of um, command strips, so I got to get some more for the walls because we have plenty of real estate for the walls. Not floor real estate, but we have upwards, you know? Oh, yes. Um, so we can hang up lots of reeds. I just haven't, I just haven't done it yet. Just waiting for me, that's why. I'm waiting, waiting for, for Steven. the big guns to come down. Steven's got to come <laughs> next week, and Steven's got like six, seven inches in height from me, <laughs> so he's able to reach those spots. I need a ladder no matter what I do at the warehouse. Yeah, well, me and Gal will be down again next week because we're actually doing um, wedding cake testing. Or yes. 
testing wedding cakes at some place in uh, Topsfield. What'd you say? Great. It was like 25 bucks for a sampler? Yeah, 25 bucks to test a bunch of cakes. That's sweet. It's not bad Very at all. I'm excited for that. So let us know what your favorite cake is. Alex's favorite is red velvet. Yes, no exception easy. about that. Um, I like red velvet as well. I don't know. Well, Gab's is chocolate. But she... Thankfully, let me in charge of the cake, so I can pick any cake I want. You like variation. chocolate too, but I don't I know. You know what sounds good? I think like though. a strawberry and like fresh cream cheese frosting would be good, or something you know fruity with the summer. Am I in uh, raspberry? Oh yeah, see That's that works too. Want, raspberry yeah, would be raspberry. very very good. All right, there is our bow. Now we just got to fluff it a little bit better, which we can spend more time on once we hang it up. So in the meantime, let's see, this is hardened up. Let's see if we can work in this sign now. Uh, if you're just tuning in, the way I secured this is I just used hot glue. That is not any way I would ever ship it out like this. Uh, so tomorrow, if this sells, even if it doesn't sell tomorrow, I'm taking this wreath to the warehouse and I'll probably yank these pipe cleaners off. Start fresh with a couple staples and a new pipe cleaner. But for the sake of video, it'll last, but just not permanently. This would definitely fall off uh, with the heat, the moisture, the hot glue is strong for flowers in a grapevine, but it's not strong enough to hold a sign to a grapevine. So we'll secure this here. Trying not to add too much pressure because I don't want those pipe cleaners to pop right off. I think they're good. We added a lot of hot glue, didn't we, Steve? Oh, yes. We waited a few minutes, so these should be nice and ready to go. He's a good improviser, that's for sure. You have to be, right? That's I agree. Okay. Just taking that pipe cleaner. A bunch of people are saying German chocolate. That's a cool one. I've never Ooh. really heard of that uh, type of cake before. That's cool. That's it like sounds, the dark chocolate, I think, right? That sounds good. I imagine that's good. Maybe we, maybe you can try that. Even though it's not my wedding, you guys, maybe the whole family <laughs> will come and we'll all get samplers. They'll be like, uh, sorry, just for the bride and groom. <laughs> not fun. the entire party. <laughs> all right, pull those tails down. But Stephen did get some desserts today. You got what a whoopie pie, like a cookie whoopie pie. Oh yeah, too. I got a whoopie pie pies for the family, and I like yeah, a cupcake. Just to test out this bakery, and I think that's a good bakery if you do decide to go that route. They had good food. Yeah, it's like five minutes from the venue too, which is which is great. But the thing about wedding cakes is, I feel like if you start getting fancy, you know, with a lot of fondant and decorations and stuff, it's just for like the the appeal of it, you know. Because when Alex got a sweet 16 cake and it was beautiful and decorative and shiny and glitzy, do you remember the taste of the cake? <laughs> it no. wasn't that good. So I think I think if they start adding a lot of that stuff, it gets busy. But you're just doing a simple cake anyway. Yeah, I'm, yeah, me and Gab are more easy going. You're not covering it in gold and <laughs> stuff like no. that. So there is what that wreath looks like so far at this point in time. How's that look, you guys? Do you like that? I think that blue matches perfectly. Yeah, everyone's saying that. So, we ran out of our sunflower, so I actually went to Walmart to pick out some more, but we do have um, like 30 colors of sunflowers coming in starting in May till like June. Uh, we have like 15, 16 different styles of uh, sunflowers coming in, larger sprays, larger blooms, smaller ones, a collection of both. But, you know, like I said, since we sold out, we're just using Walmart flowers, which these are actually great quality. Don't those look good, Steve? They're very, very nice. And I'm very picky when it comes to sunflowers, so... You know, head there. Not a bad price. Take one without the tag. Remove that tag. And Walmart tags are nice to remove. Thank the Lord. Because some tags, Steve, they make me go berserk. They're hard to <laughs> remove some of them. Take another one. Work it on this side. Notice what I'm doing with the sunflowers. Can you see, Steve, that I'm not having them face directly towards you? I'm having them off kilter. So I'm not taking them and working them straight up. Mm, take away from the sign, yeah. Well, not take away from the sign, but sunflowers, they've always reminded me of eyes. See, that doesn't that look like eyes when you have them sticking straight towards you? <laughs> True. So what I like to do is I like to off-kilter them any direction, uh, but just not facing like that because that looks a little <laughs> spooky to me. So let's come back in with another one. We'll take this one and place it towards the inside. We may end up cutting a tail or two. We might not need all of those tails. But for the sake of the video, we'll just leave that in for now. Make sure it's gone in. There it is. 
pull those longer tails to one side. Now we have another sunflower that we've cut. We actually have two more, so let's work in both of them. Might as well. Place this one lower in the design. And our final one, these are all the, sa uh, the same size too, you guys. Uh, I like purchasing flowers in different stages of life, uh, especially with sunflowers, but we work with what we have and we work within budget. So something like this still looks beautiful, but if I had the possibility of purchasing the sunflowers, you know, with a tighter bud, a completely closed bud, I always like that because it gives such a realistic look. So if you're able to find them, definitely purchase those and we do have plenty coming, but they won't be in for a few months, unfortunately, but that's okay. That's when we're really gonna start to use them. But we're making this now because before these signs sell out, I wanted to make sure I had one. <laughs> Because I like it. Dolores gave us a fun fact. She said that uh, sunflowers move according to the direction of the sun. I yes, did not know do. that, actually. So they that's... do. Lots of flowers do cut flowers. So, for instance, tulips, um, they're very reactive. So if you put them in a darker room or, you know, we're far away from a window or a light source, they'll start positioning themselves towards that light source. So certain flowers are difficult to work with and let's say like cut arrangements because it might look beautiful one day and the next day they're all, you know, in a completely different direction. But it keeps things interesting. So then we have this spray. I'm not sure if I want to work in that, but we do have this. So let's work in a few pieces of this. This is actually left over. It looks like I cut all of the flowers off and just kept the twigs. So we're going to put some of these leaves to use and some of these twigs because we're just going to make it as natural as possible. Pull those off. They do sell this type of greenery at Hobby Lobby without twi uh, without flowers as well. And this might be that foliage actually. So we'll just snip some of these twigs off and work them in. But yes, who's downloaded their app so far? We've been seeing the orders come through with the app, which Alex was surprised. She didn't know the website alerted you. So yesterday she's like, we're getting downloads and orders from the app, but <laughs> nobody knows about it yet. Uh, uh, they told me about it yesterday. And Nikki sur or yeah surprised me last night when I came when I came over and I I was jumping up and down I was I was, I was super happy <laughs> he did jump up and I down. did I he jumped off that couch <laughs> I think I, I did I that is that is a fact I was very proud of him oh well it's exciting and you can thank it's Alex cool. for that because Alex took the initiative and created the app I downloaded the app even though I hope I hope I never have to use the app hopefully Nikki takes care of me instead of me <laughs> placing an order but I uh, told Stephen I he'll get two percent <laughs> off all purchases. I do. I do have the app <laughs> downloaded. So. No friends and family discount here. No, I'm just kidding. Steven's getting a whole beautiful wedding, and I can't wait to do that. It was a nice trip today. So if you guys didn't know, you know, floral markets, I don't know where, you know, what other cities do, but here in Boston, floral exchanges and markets are open really, really early. So they open at 5 a.m. and close typically on, you know, 10 a.m., uh, to 12 a.m. depending on the day so we had to be there very very early this morning um and i'm surprised i got up but i did <laughs> very surprised but i believe in them i knew it yes i knew he would so we had some fun doing that we also got to stop in with one of our friend uh well not one of our friends but a friendly company that we have partner uh partnered with in the past jacobson floral in boston it's always been a treat to stop in there kind of check out see what's going on we got some new wreath rings there too today, didn't we, Steve? Oh, yes. We got some just very plain circle rings because we're going to do some minimalistic and trendy designs in the wreath community, uh, as well as a chandelier. That's what we're working on this week. As soon as that product comes in, my first task is to create a floral chandelier. So many of you guys know, but in case you didn't, the wreath community is currently closed to new members, but we are opening up the end of March, early April, and you can learn more about that at wreathcommunity.com. A couple of people asked uh, the name of the app. It's just uh, you know very similar, Nick's Seasonal Decor. Not very similar. Exactly it is. similar. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or... Nick's Seasonal Decor. So just the name of our business in any smartphone app store. You guys can find us there. So let us know what you think of the app. Of course, all feedback is appreciated. We are working towards removing or hiding towards the back of the page or the website and the app. Uh, things that are out of stock that way it's easier for you guys to source but keep in mind too if something's out of stock chances are at some point or in time we will restock that so if you click something that's out of stock and click back in stock requests you'll receive an email when that item is available again or you'll receive a notification on your phone with the app now 
Also, fun fact, I gave the first five-star review for the app, so <laughs> I take full credit for his rating being so high. Currently. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if we have any ratings yet. I haven't even checked. I, got the, I have the five-star. I don't know if anyone else did, but... See, Steven, Steven's doing that, but that's like, um, what's what's the word for that? That's a so conflict that's of like interest right there. Trading. <laughs> no. Insider trading. I inspected the app. I looked at the uh, about the team page with all the pictures of my family. I thought it was, I thought it was great. It was, it was worth a five star to me. Yeah, we gotta we gotta Easy take some five. better pictures. You guys heard when we took a picture of the ribbon, or Alex took a picture of the ribbon the other day. Uh, I was like, "What the heck is this picture?" But it's okay. Everything's always a work in progress. Nothing's gonna be a hundred percent right off the bat. But let's work in a few more of these leaves from a second spray. Yeah, Valerie asked a couple times if uh, we went to the mart for the flowers. For the we wedding, and yes, we did go this today morning, to Boston yep. this morning, just to, I, just to get a good idea of what you know, what we're looking for, and and Gab and Nick had a good conversation with that, so yes. looking forward to. So to I posted those. pictures in the wreath community. I think I posted a story of the Jacobson part, uh, but we also went to, you know, the actual fresh floral market. Looking, looking good. What do you think of that? I like it. Does it need a little bit more greenery? You think? That's no, I like. I mean, it makes me want to go to Sun Sunshine Farms. Right. Let's see. Do I need that tail there? Always take a step back and look at your design from a distance. That's what really helps you gauge if you're done or not. And I think, in all honesty, we are done with that wreath. What do you think? I like it a lot. Show some hearts if you love that. You can also just take your tails and uncurl them if you want. It totally depends on your style. We've had people comment in the past, I hate when you curl up your tails. I like it better without the tails curled, or I like the tails better curled. Uh, and it's all a personal preference. But the nice thing about wired ribbon is that you can bend the ribbon, manipulate it, cut it, you recut it. It's whatever you need. So that is that. You can find all of these supplies at nickseasonaldecor.com or download the app in your app store. That sounds so cool to say. That's, that's um, cool. First on camera <laughs> saying that. Make sure that you text if you, uh, text us if you haven't yet. The number is 978-396-9150. Maybe you got your text tonight. Let us know. Uh, that way you don't miss out with any of our live videos. And make sure you follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can learn more about the Wreath community before we open so you're ready for it because we'll probably just open for a long weekend again um, at wreathcommunity.com. And I think that is pretty much it. So thank you all so much for the hearts. Thank you so much for the shares and the comments. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget we're giving away more mystery bar uh, boxes. Bargain boxes are being you know finished up tomorrow. Uh, we started putting some goodies in those boxes today. And hopefully next month we will have more to offer to you guys. So once again, our finished wreath. I think it's perfect for spring, summer, and fall. And I'll have pictures of this posted later on. If you're interested in any of our finished designs, you can find those in our Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow night because we did start, I don't know if you knew this, Steve, but January 1st, my goal is to go live each and every day, and we oh, haven't wow. broken that yet, so knock on wood. Excellent. So if that, if you like that idea, let me know. Bye, everyone. Yeah, take care, everyone. It was nice seeing you again. Goodbye.